Exodus chapter 36. In this chapter, 1. The work of the tabernacle is begun, verse 1 4. 2. A stop is put to the people's contributions, verse 5 7. 3. A particular account is given of the making of the tabernacle itself, the fine curtains of it, verse 8 13. The coarse ones, verse 14 19. The boards, verse 20 30. The bars, verse 31 34. The partition veil, verse 35, 36. And the hanging for the door, verse 37, etc. Appointment of Bezalel and R. O. Liab. B.C. 1491. One then wrought Bezalel and R. O. Liab, and every wise hearted man, in whom the Lord put wisdom and understanding to know how to work all manner of work for the service of the sanctuary, according to all that the Lord had commanded. To and Moses called Bezalel and R. O. Liab, and every wise hearted man, in whose heart the Lord had put wisdom, even every one whose heart stirred him up to come unto the work to do it. 3 And they received of Moses all the offering which the children of Israel had brought for the work of the service of the sanctuary, to make it with all. And they brought yet unto him free offerings every morning. For in all the wise men, that wrought all the work of the sanctuary, came every man from his work which they made. 5 And they spake unto Moses, saying, The people bring much more than enough for the service of the work, which the Lord commanded to make. 6 And Moses gave commandment, and they caused it to be proclaimed throughout the camp, saying, Let neither man nor woman make any more work for the offering of the sanctuary. So the people were restrained from bringing. 7 For the stuff they had was sufficient for all the work to make it, and too much. 1. The workmen set in without delay. Then they wrought. 5. 1. When God had qualified them for the work, then they applied themselves to it. Note, the talents we are entrusted with must not be laid up, but laid out, not hid in a napkin, but traded with. What have we all our gifts for, but to do good with them? They began when Moses called them, 5. 2. Even those whom God has qualified for, and inclined to, the service of the tabernacle, yet must wait for a regular call to it, either extraordinary, as that of prophets and apostles, or ordinary, as that of pastors and teachers. And observe who they were that Moses called, those in whose heart God had put wisdom for this purpose, beyond their natural capacity and whose heart stirred them up to come to the work in good earnest. Note, those are to be called to the building of the gospel tabernacle whom God has by his grace made in some measure fit for the work and free to engage in it. Ability and willingness, with resolution, are the two things to be regarded in the call of ministers. Has God given them not only knowledge, but wisdom? For those that would win souls must be wise, and have their hearts stirred up to come to the work, and not to the honor only, to do it, and not to talk of it only, let them come to it with full purpose of heart to go through with it. The materials which the people had contributed were delivered by Moses to the workmen, 5, 3. They could not create a tabernacle, that is, make it out of nothing nor work, unless they had something to work upon. The people therefore brought the materials and Moses put them into their hands. Precious souls are the materials of the gospel tabernacle, they are built up a spiritual house, 1 Peter 2, 5. To this end they are to offer themselves a free will offering to the Lord, for his service, Romans 15, 16 
and they are then committed to the care of his ministers, as builders, to be framed and wrought upon by their edification and increase in holiness, till they all come, like the curtains of the tabernacle, in the unity of the faith, to be a holy temple, Ephesians 2, 21, 22, 4, 12, 13, 2. The Contributions Restrained. The people continued to bring free offerings every morning, 5, 3. Note, we should always make it our morning's work to bring our offerings unto the Lord, even the spiritual offerings of prayer and praise, and a broken heart surrendered entirely to God. This is that which the duty of every day requires. God's compassions are new every morning, and so must our duty to him be. Probably there were some that were backward at first to bring their offering, but their neighbor's forwardness stirred them up and shamed them. Their zeal of some provoked many. There are those who will be content to follow who yet do not care for leading in a good work. It is best to be forward but better late than never. Or perhaps some who had offered at first, having pleasure in reflecting upon it, offered more, so far were they from grudging what they had contributed, that they doubled their contribution. Thus, in charity, give a portion to seven, and also to eight, having given much, give more. Now observe, 1. The Honesty of the Workman when they had cut out their work, and found how their stuff held out, and that the people were still forward to bring in more, they went in a body to Moses to tell him that they needed no more contributions, 5, 4, 5. Had they sought their own things, they had now a fair opportunity of enriching themselves by the people's gifts, for they might have made up their work and converted the overplus to their own use, as perquisites of their place. But they were men of integrity, that scorned to do so mean a thing as to sponge upon the people, and enrich themselves with that which was offered to the Lord. Those are the greatest cheats that cheat the public. If to murder many is worse than to murder one, by the same rule to defraud communities and to rob the church or state, is a much greater crime than to pick the pocket of a single person. But these workmen were not only ready to account for all they received, but were not willing to receive more than they had occasion for, lest they should come either into the temptation or under the suspicion of taking it to themselves. These were men that knew when they had enough. 2. The Liberality of the People Though they saw what an abundance was contributed, yet they continued to offer, till they were forbidden by proclamation, 5, 6, 7. A rare instance. Most need a spur to quicken their charity, few need a bridle to check it, yet these did. Had Moses aimed to enrich himself, he might have suffered them still to bring in their offerings and when the work was finished might have taken the remainder to himself, but he also preferred the public before his own private interest, and was therein a good example to all in public trusts. It is said verse 6, the people were restrained from bringing, they looked upon it as a restraint upon them not to be allowed to do more for the tabernacle, such was the zeal of those people, who gave to their power, yea, and beyond their power, praying the collectors with much entreaty to receive the gift, 2 Corinthians 8, 3, 4. These were the fruits of a first love, in these last days charity has grown too cold for us to expect such things from it. Construction of the Tabernacle BC 1491 8 And every wise-hearted man among them that wrought the work of the tabernacle made ten curtains of fine twined linen, and blue, and purple, and scarlet, 
with cherubims of cunning work made he them. 9 The length of one curtain was twenty and eight cubits, and the breadth of one curtain four cubits, the curtains were all of one size. 10 And he coupled the five curtains one unto another, and the other five curtains he coupled one unto another. 11 And he made loops of blue on there. Edge of one curtain from the selve edge in the coupling, likewise he made in the uttermost side of another curtain, in the coupling of the second. 12 50 loops made he in one curtain, and 50 loops made he in the edge of the curtain which was in the coupling of the second, the loops held one curtain to another. 13 And he made 50 tashes of gold, and coupled the curtains one unto another with the tashes so it became one tabernacle. The first work they set about was the framing of the house, which must be done before the furniture of it was prepared. This house was not made of timber or stone, but of curtains curiously embroidered and coupled together. This served to typify the state of the church in this world, the palace of God's kingdom among men. 1. Though it is upon the earth, yet its foundation is not in the earth, as that of a house is, no, Christ's kingdom is not of this world, nor founded in it. 2. It is mean and mutable, and in a militant state, shepherds dwelt in tents, and God is the shepherd of Israel, soldiers dwelt in tents, and the Lord is a man of war and his church marches through an enemy's country, and must fight its way. The kings of the earth enclose themselves in cedar, Jeremiah 22. 15, But the ark of God was lodged in curtains only. 3. Yet there is a beauty in holiness, the curtains were embroidered, so is the church adorned with the gifts and graces of the Spirit, that raiment of needlework. Psalm 45. 14. 4. The several societies of believers are united in one, and, as here, all become one tabernacle, for there is one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. 14. And he made curtains of goat's hair for the tent over the tabernacle, eleven curtains he made them. 15 The length of one curtain was 30 cubits, and 4 cubits was the breadth of one curtain, the 11 curtains were of one size. 16 And he coupled 5 curtains by themselves, and 6 curtains by themselves. 17 And he made 50 loops upon the uttermost edge of the curtain in the coupling, and 50 loops made he upon the edge of the curtain which coupleth the second. 18 And he made fifty tashes of brass to couple the tent together, that it might be one. 19 And he made a covering for the tent of ram's skins dyed red, and a covering of badger's skins above that. 20 And he made boards for the tabernacle of shittim wood, standing up. 21 The length of a board was ten cubits, and the breadth of a board one cubit and a half. 22 One board had two tenons, equally distant one from another, thus did he make for all the boards of the tabernacle. 23 And he made boards for the tabernacle. 20 Boards for the south side southward, 24 and 40 sockets of silver he made under the 20 boards, two sockets under one board for his two tenons and two sockets under another board for his two tenons. 25 And for the other side of the tabernacle, which is toward the north corner, he made twenty boards, twenty-six and there forty sockets of silver, two sockets under one board, and two sockets under another board. 27 And for the sides of the tabernacle westward he made six boards. 28 And two boards made he for the corners of the tabernacle in the two sides. 29 And they were coupled beneath, and coupled together at the head thereof, to one ring, thus he did to both of them in both the corners. 30 And there were eight boards, 
and their sockets were sixteen sockets of silver, under every board two sockets. Thirty-one and he made bars of shittim wood, five for the boards of the one side of the tabernacle, thirty-two and five bars for the boards of the other side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the boards of the tabernacle for the sides westward. 33 And he made the middle bar to shoot through the boards from the one end to the other. 34 And he overlaid the boards with gold, and made their rings of gold to be places for the bars, and overlaid the bars with gold. Here, 1. The shelter and special protection that the church is under are signified by the curtains of hair cloth, which was spread over the tabernacle and the covering of ram's skins and badger's skins over them, 5. 1419. God has provided for his people a shadow from the heat, and a cover from storm and rain, Isaiah 4. 6. They are armed against tall weathers, the sun and the moon shall not smite them, and they are protected from the storms of divine wrath that hail which will sweep away the refuge of lies, Isaiah 28. 17. Those that dwell in God's house shall find, be the tempest ever so violent, or the dropping ever so continual, it does not rain in. 2. The strength and stability of the church, though it is but a tabernacle, are signified by the boards and bars with which the curtains were borne up, 5. 20 34. The boards were coupled together and joined by the bars which shot through them, for the union of the church, and the hearty agreement of those that are its stays and supporters, contribute abundantly to its strength and establishment. 35 And he made a veil of blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen with cherubims made he it of cunning work. 36 And he made thereon to four pillars of shittim wood, and overlaid them with gold, their hooks were of gold, and he cast for them four sockets of silver. 37 And he made an hanging for the tabernacle door of blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen, of needlework. 38 And the five pillars of it with their hooks and he overlaid their chapters and their fillets with gold, but their five sockets were of brass. In the building of a house there is a great deal of work about the doors and partitions. In the tabernacle these were answerable to the rest of the fabric, there were curtains for doors, and veils for partitions. 1. There was a veil made for a partition between the holy place, and the most holy. 5. 35, 36. This signify the darkness and distance of that dispensation, compared with the New Testament, which shows us the glory of God more clearly and invites us to draw near to it, and the darkness and distance of our present state, in comparison with heaven, where we shall be ever with the Lord and see him as he is. 2. There was a veil made for the door of the tabernacle, 5, 37, 38. At this door the people assembled, though forbidden to enter, for, while we are in this present state, we must get as near to God as we can.